Hey everyone, welcome to the Movie Throne. I'm your host, the one and only King Kansas, here to bring you a movie review your way. Yes, you heard me right, a movie review. And in this case, I am doing The Black Phone starring Ethan Hawke. It came out, I believe, I want to say last year, and I finally had the chance to watch it. It was on uh, a little, I guess, cable TV, Crave TV here in Canada. Now, you know what? Let me check it out. People have been talking so much about this film. You know, it's from Blumhouse. Uh, stars Ethan Hawke. And I go, you know what? Let me check it out. I'm a fan of both. The studio and the actor. So let me check it out. And I could honestly say, guys, I enjoyed it. I didn't overly enjoy it like a lot of people are giving this praise. I thought it was a decent, well put together film. It was like a slow burn. If you guys expect like, you know, a slasher film and stuff, no. It's your typical, you know, point A to point B result kind of movie. And I think it's only like an hour and 38 minutes, but it felt like a long hour and 38 minutes in my personal opinion. I know you guys might like that, but I kind of saw everything coming up. And, you know, the trailers is a little bit misleading, you know, with the floating kid and all that shit. So spoiler alert, guys, it's going to be spoiler filled. You know, you kind of like get to know these two little kids who kind of seem like they're coming from an abusive house. The little girl has some sort of like sightseeing powers, like she can see the outcome. She's like a kind of like a psychic, and her mother might have had something to do with it. And their father was an alcoholic, abusive against toward you know towards them. And you know, it starts off with a kid being taken by somebody driving a black van, which is Ethan Hawke. It's not a surprise. And one by one, this lady disappears until one of the two kids who's getting abused gets kidnapped, and he's trying to figure out a way to escape. And that's when, you know, the black phone's on the wall and, you know, the captor, Ethan Hawke, says it doesn't work. But yet all the victims are calling, giving him ideas of how to escape. And eventually he gets enough courage that he ends up doing so. But the little girl is kind of like being shunned by her father saying, what the hell? No, I don't want you to end up like your mother, blah, blah, blah. But she kind of has like an inner battle with Jesus there. And, you know, a little conversation, let's an interesting one, let's just say that. And she kind of like managed to track down her brother to a house to where she thinks he is and little do we know the Ethan Hawk had two houses and one of them his brother was staying at he would keep one place where all the victims were and then he would bury him in another and then you know the little girl managed to lead them there and ends up saving him unintentionally or indirectly because he's across the damn other street and holy shit some of the stuff he had to do and uh it leaves it uh pretty much solved like you know i don't think there's going to be anything a sequel unless someone else picks up the mantle or the kid himself but uh yeah man it was uh, it was well put together i enjoyed it uh i highly recommend you guys checking it out you know but if you don't see it it's not going to be the end of the world i waited so long to see it i was going to pick it up on blu-ray now that i did i don't think i'll be adding it to my collection but uh, would i watch it again probably not but it's worth the watch if you decide to waste it you know, or spend an hour and 40 minutes of your time, you can go ahead and do so. But uh, yeah, like I'm, I'm not going to strongly recommend it, but check it out. If you're an Ethan Hawke fan, go check it out for yourselves. But it's not as big as what I was led to believe in the trailer that, you know, supernatural powers and all that shit, not even close. It's just a kid seeing shit, basically, you know, like images and these victims talking to him to kind of like guide him through whatever. And I don't know if he has powers or not. I'm thinking that he, something like that, unless he's going stir crazy, and that's where he sees all these victims giving him all these, you know, tips and stuff and how to hell to get out and stuff. And you got Ethan Hawke wearing different masks and shit like that. It looks pretty cool. Kind of sound like the Joker, but toned down to me personally. But I don't know. It was okay overall. Go check it out for yourself. So there you go. That is my official reaction review on Ethan Hawke's The Black Phone. I hope you guys like it. Like, share, and subscribe. Check out my other movie reviews coming your way. My TV reviews coming your way. The Mandalorian should be coming up soon, guys. So check that out. The finale, season three. So check that out. Stay off the King Strong. And I'll see you where? Right here on YouTube. Take it easy and be the hell good.